let's understand in this video about the cross price demand what do you mean by cross price demand cross price basically means that you know price of one commodity affects the demand of another Now you must be wondering how can this happen now for this purpose goods are divided into two categories one are substitute goods and the other one is complementary goods now substitute goods as I have been discussing very often with you are like rice and wheat one can be used instead of the other in this case what happened is that a price rise in case of one increases the demand for the other why because people tend to buy less of this good and buy more of the other good because one of them can act as a substitute for the other so basically if you plot this now if you were to graphically represent this let's take the demand curve for wheat let me use a little brighter color let's say your P1 was the situation when the price of rice was 100 and at that given price let's say when price was 100 wheat was 60 so at 60 let's say the quantity demanded was Q1 now as price of rice increased from 100 to 120 the quantity q2 assuming the price remains the same at 60 the quantity q2 will be lying on the right side of the original demand curve why because there's an increase in the quantity so even if the price of wheat remains the same the demand increases from Q1 to Q2 so any increase in the price of rice would result in the shifting of the demand curve to the right side indicating thereby that the demand of wheat is increasing with the increase in the price of rice even though the price of wheat remains unchanged let's now see the second one this is in case of substitutes good second is complementary goods now what do you mean by complementary goods complementary goods are the ones which are used together let's take the case of tea and sugar so if the demand for tea increases let's say in winters you know that the demand for tea increases okay increase in the demand of tea will also result in increase in the demand for sugar right and vice versa but if you see that if the price of tea increases okay there's a price increase in tea what will happen the quantity of tea demanded will in decrease quantity will decrease 
So the price increase in T will result in a decrease in quantity of sugar demanded. I mean the quantity is correlated in the sense that one increase in demand of quantity of one will result in increase in the quantity of the other. However, price increase in one will result in decrease in demand for the other as well. Why? Because once the price increases, the demand for sugar or tea will go down. If the demand for tea goes down, so will the demand for sugar. Again, if you have to graphically represent this, let's say this is the demand, this is the price. Let's say at a price T1, the quantity of, and this is sugar. Let's say that price T1, which is the price of the tea, the quantity demanded was Q1. Okay. If the price of T increases from T1 to T2, the quantity demanded will decrease. So quantity demanded will decrease. It will come on the left foot side. So, and when you draw the demand curve, it will move towards the left. So in case of complementary goods, the demand curve moves towards the left. In case of substitute goods, the demand curve moves towards the right. Okay?